In this movie, I'll be covering a little bit about Modernizer. Specifically, what is it and when do we use it? Let's start with that first question. What is Modernizer? Unlike what its name suggests, Modernizer does not actually modernize any older browsers. In other words, it doesn't augment their feature sets. It doesn't allow them to do things that they otherwise couldn't do. Modernizer is a JavaScript library which does feature detection for you. Basically, it'll tell you if a browser is visiting your website, what features does that browser support and what features does it not support? Here's an example. With CSS3, you can create box shadows very easily. You could use Modernizer to say, hey, does this browser that's visiting me support box shadows? If so, just use the CSS box shadow property. Otherwise, go ahead and set a background image of a box shadow. Now the advantage of doing that is that newer browsers won't need to download that box shadow image. They'll just put a box shadow on because it's a CSS3 property. Older browsers, such as old IE, Internet Explorer 8 and below, will not be able to render a CSS3 box shadow. Instead, they'll download the image. So that raises the question, how did we do this before Modernizer came along? Well, every web browser is what we call a user agent, and each one has what's called a user agent string. The user agent string identifies the browser. So if this were a somewhat simpler world, Google Chrome would identify as Google Chrome. Internet Explorer version 6 would identify as IE6. But because time and history tend to complicate things, user agent strings are very complex and very difficult to parse. The way we used to do it would be to look at the user agent string and try to figure out what web browser was visiting us. Once we knew, or thought we knew, what web browser was visiting us, we would then decide what that web browser could support. And then we would feed it code that it theoretically could support. User agent sniffing may sound like a good idea on the surface, but in practice, it's not a very good thing to do. Especially back in the early 2000s, we had a lot of websites saying, this website is best viewed with Internet Explorer version 6. People using Netscape or Firefox or whatever other browser would have problems if they tried to view the website. And not because the browsers had problems. That was because the developers of the website had decided that people not using this browser or that browser would get a different experience. Of course, that gets out of date very fast. The different paradigm is Modernizer, where Modernizer is not asking the browser what browser it is. Modernizer is doing tests to figure out what the browser can support. It's kind of like if you're running a sports team and you ask people from various families to come and try out. Instead of discriminating against the families based on what you think they can do, instead put them through their paces and test out their abilities before deciding whether they're on the team or off the team, or in this case, whether they support Box Shadow or not. Now later on we'll get into more detail, but you can interface with Modernizer multiple ways. The first is through CSS classes, and the second is through JavaScript. There are entire sections on both Modernizer and CSS, and Modernizer and JavaScript, and we'll go more into depth with that there. For now though, I'll wrap up this overview, and in later movies we'll talk about how we actually do it in practice.